I put a terrible amount of pressure on our next guest, Arthur Smith, when I told him before we started how much I was looking forward to talking to you today. And, and Coach, I appreciate the time, and, and I'm interested in just so many different things about your particular situation. And I start with this. As the OC in, in, in Tennessee, you do a really nice job, and now it's your job to do the whole job. And I, I see how many times a coordinator is great at one specific thing, but then the whole thing becomes a really big challenge. So in the early days there in Atlanta, what do you find is the biggest difference? Well, yeah, you're absolutely you're responsible for the entire roster and the whole coaching staff. And we feel really good about the guys we hired here. And we got good experience and, and guys that can help you in, in areas that you might not have the experience in. So really excited about when we added Dean Pease and where we're going to take this thing defensively. And then Dave Ragon on offense and Marquise Williams on special teams. I looked at the Atlanta schedule today and the results, and I think I've got this right, eight games that they lost by a single score. Now, you could look at that, man, this is a coin flip league, and they're really close. Or you could say they just couldn't figure out how to win. I just, I'm curious, Arthur, as you look at what they were last year, how do you view what, what last year was for them? Well, it's a talented team. They've had good coaches and players here. And, uh, you know, most of these games, as you know, they come down to the end. And if you look at us when Tennessee last year, you know, the first five games, we started 5-0, and and all those games came down right to the wire. And you've got to be really good situationally. I uh, feel very confident about the, some of the pieces that are here. And it's, I'm excited to get to work with them. Biggest picture challenge for you as, you're, as we head into the next, what, month, and then it's free agency, and then you got about a month to get yourself situated from a draft perspective. Uh, if you give me an idea of your whiteboard, right, of, of, like, what you're dealing with, like, you, all right, 8 o'clock, i got to talk to Van Pelt. That's five minutes I'm wasting. The rest of your day, wh what does it look like? Yeah, there's a lot of things that come. We try to structure it. Uh, we're putting in, you know, new offensive, defensive, and special team systems. So there's a lot of meetings going over the roster. You know, you're unsure about the salary clap, so you got to have, you know, plan after plan. It's been fun. All right, and just my last sort of overarching theme, as, as you talk to your guys and you want your, your, your personnel to get an idea of what's, your, what's my philosophy, like what, what, what makes me tick, what is it I want us to be? How would you explain that to them? Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people, you want a smart football team, you want a, a team that can adapt and play together in all three phases. You have to be able to do that because uh, there's, there's so many different challenges. I mean, just look at this division, who you're playing and what they're building in Carolina. Obviously, Tampa just won the Super Bowl in New Orleans. It's been as good as anybody has in the last 17, 18 years. Yeah, man, there's divisions in the NFL where you kind of feel like, oh, maybe we can get that one. The South for years has just been you never know who's going to be the top because the bottom is just so fierce. And uh, that's where you're going to make your living. We wish, wish you the best, Arthur, as you get going in Atlanta. Thanks for making some time for us here, all right? Oh, thanks for having me, guys.